Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday, I believe. Um, sorry, my eyes are running because of allergies. Uh, first of all, yesterday, Terry and I spent five and a half hours at his dermatologist. Um, he um, had a cancer spot over here. And what they do, I was not aware of this because I've never experienced it before, but they cut it out in the smallest area that they can and then they do a biopsy right there. If they don't have enough of it cut out, they cut some more. And then some more. So poor Terry, I tell you what, I told them, those people that were working on him, if I ever had to have this done, you guys would have to knock me out. And then they had to stitch it up. They tried to have me look at it um, because they thought that I would be the one to do the wound care. Well, that's not happening, y'all. I can't do it. I don't know what it is about me that is that way, but I cannot handle incontinence. Um, bathing care and definitely not wound care. Now y'all, I mean, I couldn't even, I don't think I could do that for my mom. And I don't know why. It's just the way I am. So that's how we spent yesterday. And y'all will see my arm is bare. Last night, I took that splint off that they had put on my arm to stabilize the break. I wanted to be able to wash it good before they put the cast on today. So that's where we're going. We're going to get a cast on. So this may be the last day. <laughs> that my bangs will be dried, that I have earrings on, and probably any face at all. It's really hard to do, y'all. You can't even scrub underneath, when it's your left hand, you can't scrub underneath your right armpit. That really bothers me. Y'all know how I feel about my showers. So, I'm not usually out this early. I always try to make doctor's appointments at least 10 o'clock or after. Because this time of day, there is a lot of traffic. But it's okay. I think I allowed myself plenty of time. Now, this place is down in Carlsbad. So I'm having to go the 78 West <coughs> and take the 5 South. Now you can't tell me that there's not a way to cut across. I don't know, y'all. When I had a real GPS, it had more um, choices. You could go the longest way. You could go the shortest way. You could put in um, the route that you wanted, like if you wanted to go the 101 or the 1 up north instead of the 5, you could put that in there. I was pretty, um, I was pretty spoiled to that GPS, and I made a lot of trips with it. Y'all, I've made so many trips out to Arkansas, um, many, many trips, many trips up to Washington and back. So, um, 
Oh, for those of y'all who have told me that <clears throat> I should go up and stay with my older son, that man, he's a boy to me, has got his big old two-story house completely torn apart. He's renovating it. And the couple of rooms, well, he's got a bedroom, the bathroom, uh, and probably his kitchen, he'll do that last. But the rooms that are, the walls are not torn down, he's got full of tools. And y'all that have watched my channel for a while know that that man has enough tools he can open his own store. <laughs> He's a gadget person, just like his mother always was. So, oh, and he has his sailboat in the driveway. Now, they're pretty lenient up there, y'all. I can't say that I ever saw anybody actually living in a motor home or a classy or a travel trailer. But I did see a lot of them parked in driveways and parked on the street in front of the houses. So, I'm sure, you know, if I had to, we could work that out. Now, he wouldn't be, I, um, when he finally, when his roommates finally moved out and he had been trying to get them to find a place and move out for a long time. So when they finally moved out, we were talking on the phone and I said, well, son, do you need me to come up there and help you with some stuff? <laughs> His reply was, uh, thanks, mom, but no thanks. <laughs> He's very independent man, just like his mother. He likes to be alone, and I know he's really enjoying having his property to himself. His roommate did landscaping on the side, and so um, he had a truck and a trailer in the yard. He had about a third of the garage used up. So, I'm, I, I'm sure that he's glad to have his property back for himself. So, I don't know, you know, what the future is going to hold for me. Now, um, most definitely, it wouldn't matter to me whether I got a Class B a class C as long as it had a little shower and it doesn't have to be a full-on knock-you-down uh, spray as long as I could get wet turn the water off soap up and then rinse off I would be very happy with that so I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen you know, I don't know where I'm going to end up. Now, one of my viewers told me that she's in Oregon and she has a little travel trailer that she would rent to me. Y'all have to try to understand how hard it is at our age to just pick up and move somewhere strange where... We don't know anybody. I'd have to leave my best friend. Y'all, she's everything to me. Whether we see eye to eye on very much or not. She's my support and I try to be hers. It'd be very hard to move, I don't know, I'd say farther than maybe an hour, hour and a half drive. Somewhere where I could come and spend a couple days with her. Um, yeah, there's the phone, but it's not the same. So, 
It's not easy, y'all. You can't just pick up and move to a strange place. Now, there is part of that that appeals to me. And y'all know that. I do get antsy, itchy feet. There's a big old ambulance back there in the right-hand lane. But thank the good Lord in this traffic, he does not have his lights and sirens on because it would be difficult in all this traffic. Of course, people that are smart would know to move over and make way. It always astounds me, people who don't know to get the heck out of the way. <coughs> so, anyway, I don't know what's going to happen, y'all. I'm just praying about it, you know, and I have to have faith. Now, another thing I wanted to give y'all a little update on. Bread of Life's thrift store has been in limbo all this time. They could not nail the landlady down to sign a lease in either one of the two places that they wanted for the store. Now, as it turns out, we're getting the space that is the least desirable. It has to be totally fixed up on the inside. It needs repairs. It needs painting. It needs new floors. So all of that has to be done before there's an actual move into the space. Well, they're trying to move everything over there and put it to the back of the space, and then they'll do the front part and then move everything and do the back part. So there's still a lot of work, y'all, that needs to be done. So there's kind of a lot of um, balls in the air for me, y'all. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do about um, my living situation. I don't know if I'm going to be here to actually volunteer for the thrift store. It won't be as easy with my arm in a cast, but it's doable. There's a lady that has come in to help me. Y'all, she has, I don't know what exactly, but it looks like extremely bad arthritis. She barely has the use of her hands, y'all. And she's a wonderful lady. In fact, she just contacted me and wanted to know about coming in to help out and volunteer. She comes from about 20 miles away. And she's in a wheelchair, so she has to manage her transportation. Transportation. Um, she's an amazing woman, y'all. Amazing. I can't tell you how much I admire her. And it makes having a cast on my left arm just paltry stuff, y'all. It's nothing nothing. So, that's what's going on in the life of Deborah Joy. Hazel went to the groomers the other day, so she's trimmed nice and short now. <laughs> she kind of looks like a little skinned rat for the first two weeks. But, let me see. That's about all I have for y'all today. I do have one more mobile home park that I'm going to publish. Um, it's a little park that um, it's really sweet. It's really crowded. It's right down by the harbor. At least I think I haven't published that one. Y'all, I got so confused doing all these mobile home parks. It's hard when I do a lot of videos. It's hard to put them in order. Um, and it's hard to get them all up. So thank you for your patience. And y'all have been so sweet to go down this mobile home road with me. 
and I hope you really enjoyed um, Rainbow Red's property and all the art that this man does. It's incredible. Incredible, y'all. I enjoyed that so much. And I hope when I travel again that I'll be able to find little places and people like that along the way. I appreciate every single one of y'all. You mean a lot to me. I don't know what I did for family and support before I started this little channel. I've always had Mary Jo, of course, but y'all are just amazing. And I really hope, as I always say, that you'll do something fun today. Now, I've got to leave you because now I've got to get on the 5 South. <laughs> That's not pretty, y'all. Not pretty at all. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you, if any of you have a subject that you would like me to talk about, let me know, and I'll try to do that. You know I'm not afraid to tackle anything. I'm not afraid of your opinions and your comments because you are 99.9% .9 respectful, and I appreciate that. Bye now.